four amazing mountains out here in this valley. And Buttermilk Mountain, once again, the host out here for X Games. DC here, joined alongside our ski expert, Tom Wallace and Jen Hudak out in the field with the reports today. And Tom, what a heater of a contest we got lined up for us for today. Absolutely beautiful day, an immaculate course, and tons of talent in this field. We've got Alex Hall, our returning gold medalist from last season, here to show he's not a one-time guy. Last season he came out, he was dominant on the rails, super creative, kind of the only guy to put down a high, high scoring run and just walking away with that gold. So he's looking to repeat something that is incredibly, incredibly hard to do in men's ski slope style. We've rarely ever seen it. We also have a rookie, X Games rookie in the field. No rookie has ever gone on to win gold. So Colby Stevenson out of Park City looking to become that first rookie that could win slope style. Of course, Alex Hall, one to watch out for, one to watch out for, but a massive field. I mean, so much talent. This is gonna be absolutely incredible. Well, he'll have his work cut out for him here on this Jeep slope style course, because he's got seven of the best skiers in the world that he is gonna be battling it out with. Evan McEachern, Nick Gepper, Fabian Bosch, Andre Regetli, Colby Stevenson, as you see right there, and then your podium from last year, Ferdy Dahl in that bronze medal position, ABM with the silver, and A. Hall, your defending gold medalist. Well, to go. right into action here. I can't wait to see what goes down. Yeah, Evan McEachern starting things off, coming out of Canada. Evan smooth on the rail so far. Eastern Canada, so grow up at a small resort known for his rail prowess, but also super talented on the jump. So, so far, clean through the rails. A big 6.30 out of that final rail into the jump section. Oh, there's the big switch 12.60 going for another 12. So both of those spins to the right, now spinning to the left on another double cork. Double corks throughout the entire run thus far. Off the final jump, big left side, double cork, 1080. Right out of the gate, Evans got a heater run. Take a look at this up at the top on the rail section. Switch to 70, spinning around the switch up and spinning out as well. So. I love this new feature down at the end. This year at X Games Aspen, we have four jump features, including the shark fin, quarter pipe style takeoffs. Totally unique. He's doing the double cork there, and just amazing, amazing first run. All right, well, Nick Gepper getting ready to drop next. He's already got three gold medals in slope style under his belt. And a look at the format out here. Once again, eight athletes, 35-minute jam session, and the ranking based on overall impression. No scores we're seeing this year, Tom. Yeah, you're not going to see any numbers out here. We're not looking to do any math calculations. Instead, every run after these athletes drop in, the run will be scored, they will be ranked accordingly, and the leaderboard will be constantly changing. So as we're watching that leaderboard in the top left, keep an eye on all these athletes' names as they move up that leaderboard. Here's Nick so far clean through the rails and the jumps. Big switch, double misty. Here's where we saw the triple cork in the elimination rounds. Oh! Deep on that. Whoa! So, in our elimination round, Nick was able to do a triple cork 1440 on that third jump feature. There he looks like he misses the grab, has to tuck it over, goes an extra degree of rotation throws him off his line, but still, jam format. So the clock is counting down. These guys are going to get a lot of runs to impress the judges with their overall repertoire. All right, now coming out of Switzerland, Fabian Bosch on course out here with his first look at this deep slope style course. Loving that, the front flip in the middle of the run. There's another flip, a guy known for his flipping maneuvers, his air awareness, and here he is into the jump se se section where he definitely excels. There's the right side 1260. So, so far, good through the jumps. Into the switch double, Misty gets that one into the final shark fin feature. There's the big double cork, 1440, stomping it with authority. Up at the top, I love this, adding flavor to the run. A front flip on the roller into the backslide, 450 out. So, a lot of creativity and another flip here 
the misty flip out of the rail. So really good run there for Fabian. The judges are looking for a little bit of everything and then ranking them accordingly. So just continue. Everybody out there watching, watch that leaderboard move and shift as these athletes go. All right, now Andre Getley, fresh off that bronze medal from last night's big air competition. That's his second X Games medal. He's got two bronze medals under his belt now here at X Games. That X Games big air event last night was absolutely outrageous. Looking for more of it today in slope style. There's the right side 12. So this guy also known for the big jump tricks. He is the owner of the quadruple court. Here he is with the switch right side, double misty into the final feature. Another guy putting together a full run. The big double cork 1080 and stomps it. So beautiful day here in Buttermilk and these guys are off to a great start. And with this new format, we're getting some high speed action. These guys are dropping constantly. No waiting for scores. Back to the top for more high flying skiing. There's that big double cork 1080 on the shark fin. So wow, so much so far already today. And we're only a few minutes in. All right, Colby Stevenson, his first X Games appearance. Been announcing him for years on the World Cup circuit, this Park City kid, and he has got so much talent. Yeah. Won a gold medal the other night competing in Knucklehug against you. That was awesome to watch. And also your top qualifier from the elimination round. He was absolutely dominant in the qualifying round. Here he is starting off with a big rail maneuver on that first one. Into the right side, 450 there. Pretzeling out of that one, so super clean through the rails there for Colby. Oh, I love the Cuban grab on that one. The grab variations is what can help these athletes stand out. If you're grabbing more than just right under your boot, like he's doing with that Cuban grab on the 1440, you can really set yourself apart going massive with the double flat spin. Wow. Colby's family watching him there. The camera almost can't go high enough into the air to keep Colby in frame. That was so gigantic off that shark fin feature. Now Ferdy Dahl coming out of Norway, your bronze medalist from last year. Did not have to compete the elimination round the other day because he qualified through due to his podium appearance last year. Correct, so right now we're seeing third, second, and first from last year. They got a freebie into the finals, but that doesn't mean there, whoa, the pretzel flip. So Ferdinand starting it off awesome there. I love that move, low degree of rotation, but a very unique flip that no one else is doing. Here he is, putting it all together through the jump section. Oh, the big double court, 900, a little bit of a bobble, but full pull there for Ferdinand. Good work for the Norwegian. Here's that first trick. Looks like he's gonna go for a rodeo and then pretzels it back to switch. Here he is, double corking off the shark fin. If anything, possibly a hand down here. Little deduction, but again, overall impression. The judges wanna see a variety of tricks, pushing the sport, trying unique stuff. All right, now in his 11th X Games appearance, five X Games medals under his belt. The gold has eluded him. This is Alex Baler Machan, ABM. As Alex drops, take a look. We've seen Colby Stevenson move to the top of that leaderboard, a comfortable position again for him. Here's ABM with the big double rodeo, 1260. Throwing the triple cork in the middle of the run. Gets the triple on the third jump into the final feature. Big double flat spin just like Colby Stevenson. Wow. Maybe. Action is absolutely heating up here. Take a look at this again. Another guy doing that double flat spin on the final jump, going for the safety grab. So holding the ski the whole way around. He has a triple cork in the middle of his run. I mean, wow. All right, here we go. You're defending gold medalist, Alex Hall. He also has a gold medal in Big Air from Norway just this past fall. Was not able to make it into the finals for Big Air here at X Games, so you know he's hungry for a big result out here. Wants to get back up on the top spot of that podium. Definitely, and he's a guy always to watch out for in slope style because of his creativity. He has some of the most unique grabs in the game, like that right there, doing his signature Buick grab on that big switch double cork. Linking this up. Oh, the double Misty 900. Only guy in the field doing that off that final feature. 
Here's that final hit, the double misty. So punching his arm forward, diving over the top, landing switch. So big run, a couple bobbles on the rail for Alex, but still getting to the bottom. Jam session's going. A lot of time left to impress the ju judges. All right, well, this final just getting heated up here with the Jeep Men's Ski Slopestyle Final. After this message and a word from our ABC stations. Well, an amazing shot of this Jeep Slope Style course, all shot on an iPhone, Tom. So sick. So here we are, back to the Jeep Slope Style course. Evan McEachern, we're back to the top of the order, currently sitting in that second place position. Very nice first run, and again, the leaderboard is constantly changing. We're not looking for just the one best run, but the overall impression from the day. So judges taking everything into account throughout the day, and we'll continue to see that leaderboard update as athletes drop. Evan putting this one together. Big switch, 1260 there on jump number three. Into the big double flat off the shark fin feature. Another smooth full run, opting for some differences there. He added a double flat spin where he had a double cork. So he's changing up this run. We see this one getting the Japan grab, totally changing up that run, showing the judges some variety. That's what they want to see, the spice of life. Now Nick Gepper getting ready to drop it again here on this Jeep slope style course. Five ski slope style medals. Three of those are gold back to 2013, 2014, and 2015. Spinning through the rail section. You can see at the top, Evan McEachern just took over that top spot. Two runs down, and he's landed both of them. So definitely a benefit there. Nick is smooth through the rails. We saw him on jump number three attempt the triple cork. He had a little bit of a bobble going to switch. Here it is. Let's see if he can get it this time. Going left side, so changing up the run not opting for the triple cork, going for a left side trick. And there's the big double flat spin off the bottom shark fin feature. So a little bit of strategy there, DC. I think he, you know, maybe didn't quite have the hang time for the triple cork, wanted to switch it up, get a rundown, show these judges he can make it all the way through the course. You have to show not only that you can do the big tricks, but you can do the entire course with style and ease. Knows how to work his strategy. Five X Games medals, three of those gold, two Olympic medals. Kid's got some experience. All right, dropping in now. Fabian Bosch coming out of Switzerland. Here in his six X Games appearance, Tom. A little bit of a bobble on that first rail, but again, any little mess ups in the past, if we would have had a bobble on the rails, you basically give up on the run. But here, when it's overall impression, you have the chance to impress the judges with the rest of your jumps, rails, everything you got left in the run can work to improving your overall score. Whoa, the big 1620 there. So already upping the ante of this jump run. Big double 900 to finish it off. So he had some major bobbles on the rails, but came into the jumps and wanted to show off. That's really where Fabian excels, is on those jumps. So a big 1620, all those big jumps. But here he is going for the big backside 810. So huge spin there. He really just wanted to show off after that first bobble. All right, Andre Regetli back on the course again. We can't talk enough about that last night, getting a bronze medal, his second X Games bronze medal, getting it for big air. Consistent on the rails, 6.30 out of that one. The tall rail, everybody seems to be hitting. So another thing the judges are looking for, if you can go and hit these features in a different way, if you can stand out on the rails or the jumps and do something unique, that's always going to help benefit you. Oh, the yeah. big switch, double Misty going 16-20. So huge spin there for Andre. Oh, and you can hear him exclaim at the end of that run. Amazing jumps there, amazing rounds. I mean, another full run. Here's that big double cork 12. So reaching the tail. Another thing the judges want to see is you not doing the same grab on every jump. He does the tail grab on that and then goes for the safety grab on that big switch double Misty. If you can Ooh. keep alternating the grab, showing the variety, all of that adds to that judge's overall impression.
All right, next up, dropping in front of that nice blue Jeep at the top of this Jeep slow style course. The rookie, Colby Stevenson, got a gold medal knucklehuck already here at this X Games. No rookie has ever won gold in slope style before. That's so crazy. So crazy. Of 19 years, but Colby could obviously be the guy to change that statistic. He is so smooth, so consistent with the, the confidence from that first gold in knucklehuck. I think he's just skiing for fun right now. He's having a blast and making it look effortless. Oh, the big switch, double 1260. So another full run he's putting together into the bottom jump. Double flat 900. So we saw him spinning off the right side, skiers right side of that bottom feature and jump and run one. Jump, run two, he goes off the other side. So showing the judges it doesn't matter where he ends up. He's going to do hard tricks both directions. The variety, oh my god. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see him take over the top spot again. Well, like you said, the confidence, Tom. I mean, coming off that gold medal in Knuckle Huck, and then he was the top qualifier from elimination. It's good seeing Colby with a good head on his shoulders. Now, Ferdy Dahl again, your bronze medalist here from last year. Colby did jump up. He's back in that top spot. Ferdinand Dahl, I love that first rail trick. He did a tips down 450. So, oh! One of the first guys we've seen going for that section of the rails, that monster energy section where it's not the tall rail. So again, he's trying to do what I said. He's trying to stand out with that variety, hitting something no one else is hitting. Here he is just being playful now on the course. So still showing off his jump game for the judges, even with that rail bobble. Oh, smooth. So definitely an improvement on that bottom hit versus run one where he had that little bit of a hand drag he puts that final jump down. And here's where he had the bobble up top. So just coming off that rail early, and you can tell anytime the rail is longer, so the longer or two rails instead of one, that makes it that much harder to balance on. So the longer rails definitely adding a huge level of difficulty. All right, ABM, your silver medalist from last year. He's got five total X Games medals in such a talented skier. ABM on the rails, the jumps, backcountry, everything. He's just an ATV, he's like a Jeep out there on snow. He really is. He is so talented. Still holding onto that rail section, even though he was a little bit off into the jumps. We saw the triple cork on that jump and run, or on this jump and run number one. So already changing up the run. The big Brebby grab, tweaking his knee in a way that looks like it would tear my MCL. Oh, and I love that double cork on the final rail, or the final jump, getting that blunt grab, the true tail, all the way out to the end. And here's that, you know, it's not a bobble, but it's not perfection. Slipping out a little bit, kind of has to put a hand down, but here, diving over. So. ABM is one to watch out for with the really unique double bios. See him diving off that lip? I mean, so unique. He's the only guy that makes it look like that. Defending gold medalist. Got his first X Games gold here last year on this Jeep Slope style course. Alex Hall currently on the outside, way on the outside of the podium. Whoa both way transfer so transferring on those rails when i say that i mean he's jumping from one to the other other and they are they are staggered he's jumping to the side to perform that maneuver whoa the right side switch 1260 back to back right side spin so look for something to the left on this final jump alley-oop double cork wow only guy doing that so doing a double cork but spinning uphill traveling down off that shark fin downhill but spinning throwing his body back uphill as he moves downhill such a blind interesting takeoff here's the right side 1080 so smooth there relatively simple with the safety grab but here at the bottom is where the alley-oop came into play and again if you're the only athlete doing a certain trick it really helps Welcome back to the Jeep Med Ski Slope Style Final. And for more on ABM, let's check out the real cost keys to success. So growing up in Quebec City, I've always been fascinated by urban skiing.
Last year, I got to compete in three different X Games events. It was my first time competing in real ski. And doing so was a childhood dream of mine. It was definitely a big risk to compete in real ski before my competition season. But in the end, everything worked out super great. I was able to win a medal in real ski, a medal in big air, and slope style, and that went above all my childhood dreams. And welcome back here to the Jeep Men's Ski Slope Style Final. Great look from the cockpit of that Jeep, conveniently parked up here on this Jeep Slope Style course. And your current standings right now, Colby Stevenson, the rookie, sitting in the top spot right now in the gold medal position. With authority, no rookie has ever come out and won gold in this event, but he looks to be the first. Right, well, this is Evan McEachran on course. Six God coming out of the Toronto area. Oh, off a little early there, Tom. So sitting good, Evan's currently in the second place position. And even with that bobble on the rail, with the way the format set up, he now still has a chance to showcase some of his best jump maneuvers and still help the judges make that decision on who's going to be the winner here today. Into that bottom feature, the double cork to the right. So he has shown them now that he can hit that feature in both directions, doing a left side spin and a right side spin. And the reason we make that so prevalent is because it's easy for these guys to spin one way, but takes a whole new level of training and technicality to be able to be ambidextrous and spin left and right. Here's that big switch 12, and then on the bottom feature, so he spun a left double cork on this one, now doing the right side one. So you're gonna hear me saying that a lot because that's the way the sport's going. They need to spin all four directions, left, right, switch left, and switch right to really showcase everything. All right, from the not so mountainous region of this country, Indiana, Nick Gepper, three slope style gold medals. He has what it takes to get up on the podium, has that experience. Definitely does. Uh, growing up in perfect North Indiana, he's got a great rail skills, a lot of ability to trick and spin and pretzel out of those rails. Here he is into the jump section. We saw the triple court. Not going for it, going switch on this one. Switch double, Misty. So already three separate unique runs. Oh! Well, Matt, this is always a super exciting event. I think we can expect to see some insane tricks. Holy deep! Holy deep! Holy deep! That is amazing! That is some crazy! Well said. We always look for innovation in this event, and that's exactly what we're getting. Deep! You don't see that Deep. every day. Well, Nick Gapper, I didn't accept him pull out that Jeep! Alright, here we go. Fabian Bosch, the Swiss skier, coming on course now. Two medals, both of them in big air. He's got a gold and a silver. Wants to add a medal count from a slope style medal to his repertoire. Already spinning like a top through this rail section. Going for the 1260 there on jump one. Oh, the right side, 1620. So, so much spinning in this run already. Onto this bottom feature, will we see another big rotation? The triple cork off the oh. Sharpman feature! What? Bobby and Bush going to the moon on the shark fin and going triple cork. The only guy I've seen do a triple rotation on the shark fin. Oh, I love the stoke from Bobby and Bush there at the end. Look at that, smooth on the rails, something he's not necessarily known for, but getting very tech. And down here at the bottom, going to the moon, triple cork, 14, 40, count them, four full rotations and three flips. Andre Rigetli now, another Swiss skier coming out of Flims right next to Lox. And with that, you see Fabian stepping up into the bronze medal position. Keep an eye on that leaderboard as it continues to update throughout the day. 
Andre smooth through the rail, so not necessarily changing it up a ton, but doing good, solid technical rail tricks. Here he is looking for the grab on that one. I'm not sure if he got the tail grab on that big 16. Into the bottom future, we saw the triple cork from Fabian going a little smaller, but Andre, another full run. Doesn't seem to be quite ad-libbing as much as some of the other guys, but definitely showcasing a ton of skills. I love that blindside 360 switch up. I mean, just super stylish on the top there. And here's the right 1260. So you can tell the last feature, you have the ability and the de decision on your own to decide how high you want to go. He's choosing to go not as high as some of the other guys. And again, amplitude plays a big factor into the judge's decision. So Andre sitting in that fourth place position as a mouth. All right, while sitting in that top gold medal position, the rookie, Colby Stevenson, with 12 minutes and 45 seconds left on this jam clock. He is absolutely blowing me away with his consistency. This is a full new rail run, going down a different line he hasn't done before, and still stomping it with authority. There's the big 1260 with the tail grab. Switch right side, 1080, that was so slow. Hitting the final sharp fin feature switch with the double cork. Oh my gosh, three runs in and Colby Stevenson cannot be stopped. He is landing absolutely everything. What? <laughs> what is indeed. Welcome, we are not kidding you, Colby. Welcome no. to the big dance out here. First year in X Games, and what a performance he is having out here. We're not kidding you, you are kidding us. Look at this switch double cork. So coming off of that sharp pin feature switch takes so much edge control in order to control your pop, your set, where you're traveling. Oh my goodness. All right, the Norwegian, Ferdy Dahl, currently sitting in eighth. Ferdinand, known for style, known on the rails especially, a fan of the urban rails as well. Smooth 450 there. Starting it off with the 1260 to the left. Then going, oh! Attempting the switch 1440, so going for a totally different run there and just coming up a hair short on that one, but still one final jump here to leave the judges with a good taste in their mouth. Little straight air tail grab though for the crowd. All right, well, Ferdy Dahl, he will have some time to impress these judges as well with 10 minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. And hey, we'll have a special NBA Sunday matchup featuring Zion Williamson. That's right, he'll look to build on his first two games with his Pelican teammates when they host Kemba and the Celtics at 6 p.m. Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. All right, back to this Jeep Slope style course. ABM, your silver medalist from last year. Currently sitting in six right now, Tom. Yeah, a little bobble on that first rail with the 450 coming off a hair early in there, a major, major bobble. Anytime you see these athletes putting a hand or their hip or their butt on the ground, it's not completely a fall, but it's almost as bad as. The judges want to see perfection, and if you're doing anything like that, it doesn't show stability and control. Still impressing with the triple cork there, so that's the beauty of the jam format. He's still able to do the rest of this run and do amazing tricks to leave the judges thinking about that and considering moving him up, seeing how he places amongst the other athletes in the field. Yeah, and with nine and a half minutes here, we're gonna get another Shot to see ABM the Quebecois here on this Jeep Slope style course. But this is that triple cork. Look at it. So smooth, so consistent with that one. Gets the landing absolutely perfectly. And if anything, I think he might be considering doing a triple cork variation on this final jump. But let's go with the grab and opens up in order to slow down. So look for the next run for him to possibly throw out back to back triple corks, which would just be. All right, Alex Hall, who's been on a tear lately, winning Big Air events, including the Big Air Gold out in Norway earlier this fall. You're defending gold medalist, but sitting again way on the outside of that podium right now. Had trouble in run number one, but a good run in run two, 
has him favoring in the judges' eyes. I think if he can put another solid variation of a run together, he's definitely going to bump up that leaderboard. Here he is with the right 1080 again. So a little bit of a variation going for this side of the takeoff. Doing the double cork 12 on both sides. So we saw him do an alley-oop double cork. Now he's going off the skier's left side doing that signature Buick grab. One of the hardest grabs in the entire sport. I gotta say, there's no way. Here's the 1080, but for this last jump, anybody at home, sit on your couch and reach across your body and try to reach your right foot with your right hand. Look at him reaching. We call it the seatbelt Japan because it's like you're putting your seatbelt on the car. All right, well, tomorrow... Ever won gold out of 19 events since 2002. No rookie has ever come out and taken gold in ski slope style. Colby Stevenson could be the first. All right, well, working on the weekend as usual. Here we go, Evan McCachran, Toronto represent, sitting in that silver medal position, poised nicely. Very well set up. Very technical through the rail section at the top already with some new changes to his rail run. Here he is with the big switch, 1440 to the right. Will he mirror it to the left? Switch left side, 1260, so there we go. Great run here for Evan. Oh, and then the big double cork at the end, so another improvement. Added technicality at the top with some additional switch ups. So just trying to continue to up the ante and move himself up those rankings. Here is the 1260 to the left, followed by the right side 1080. Opens up, goes big, and still puts that down. Nick Gepper sitting in six right now. Five X Games medals under his belt here in his 11th X Games appearance. His wife, Lizzie, down in the corral, cheering him on. He got gold in slope style three years in a row. 2013, 14, and 15. Skiing absolutely great today for the fact that Wednesday, he dislocated his shoulder, has it taped into place, and is still out here like a warrior throwing down on the slope style course. There's the big right side 1260, his natural spinning direction. Going to the left on that double cork. Oh, the big switch 900, but going for the screaming semen grab. So totally unique grab there, crossing his skis up in the air and breaking his poles there, unfortunately. Yeah, frustration there from Nick Gepper. As you said, dislocated the shoulder the other day in practice. I was standing right down there at the bottom of the crowd when he did that. And uh, his team position just set it right back in there, right there at the bottom of the course. And then he went back out and just practiced more like nothing happened. Here he is, so going too big. When you see that bottom blue line, they draw the blue paint on these landings so the athletes know when they're gonna land, how high they are in the air, and to give them some visual representation of the landing, he went past all the lines. That is not where you can land, and, and because of that, having a crash there, and ah, unfortunate. All right, five minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock here for this jam format in the Swiss gear. Fabian Bush, who's got two X Games medals, a gold and a silver for big air. Sitting in the bronze medal position, this would be his first slope style medal at X Games. Smooth on that second rail, a little bit of a hand sort of bobble on the top rail, a little bit sketchy. The judges would love to see smooth style, the hands at the side, no waving of the arms. Here he is going triple cork in the middle of the run on jump two. Wow, so we saw him doing a double cork version and deciding to ad lib go triple cork there. Oh my gosh! Oh, and a big crash for Fabian. Absolute trying to outdo himself. Two triple flip variations in that run right there. Wow, so on the bottom shark fin, he's going for a triple flat spin. He had a bobble on jump number three, not quite enough speed and just going no matter what for it and just comes around short on the rotation, takes it to the side. Wow. wow. Yeah, what a boss just to hop right back up like that. 
So Fabian Bosch again sitting in that bronze medal position right now. But there's Colby Stevenson, the rookie out of Park City, sitting in that gold medal position as we look to Andre Vergetli coming in with some momentum after last night's performance in Big Air where he got that bronze medal. Definitely, he was doing some tricks that we've never seen at X Games before last night. And hopefully we'll see some of that big dramatic air awareness here in this run as well. Starting off slow with the double cork 1080, if I can even say that that's slow, because he follows it up with a 1620. So huge spin there. Back-to-back -back 1620s, so much, much math being done right now into the right side 12. So two 1620s, the only thing we could critique is possibly the grabs on that jump two and jump three where he does two 1620s, but is he getting those grabs? Here he is on the rails, been very, very consistent on the rails today. Here's the switch 1620, so wrapping it, he's got the safety grab on that one. It's the tail grab that was a little more weary, and again, here's the right side 12. So a great spin, not as high of an amplitude as some of the other guys, but sticking that one. And here he is, your current leader, sitting in that gold medal position. His first time competing here at X Games Aspen, Colby Stevenson from Park City. I mean, a little, little off early there, but again, I don't think we've seen a bobble out of Colby Stevenson yet today. He continues to lay down a run after run with absolute authority. He's got that flow genome state going. Oh, going for a smooth right side 900. So one of the only single court trick variations we've seen today. There's a switch 1440 to the left. Oh, a switch 1260 to the right. He continues to stomp absolutely everything. Oh, a double grab variation of the double flat spin 900. So customizing run after run and continuing to dominate the field here, the rookie Colby Stevenson. He has just been on one this week in Aspen. Take a look at this, the backslide. So the one footer on that rainbow rail, smooth. And here he goes, Japan grab, and then switching over to the tail grab, reaching for it, coming around 900. Another new variation added to run number four, continues to just put them all down. All right, Ferdy Dahl, bronze medalist from last year, in eighth right now with one minute and 14 seconds on the clock. Ferdy needs to perform here. Definitely. So looking for something big on this potential final run. The, when the clock runs out, the rest of the athletes will get a chance to finish and take that final run. Ferdy there with the pretzel 630, something I love to see. There he is. Oh, definite improvement there. The switch 1440 to the left, super smooth. Switch right side 1260, no hands down. Oh, and the big right side, no! So we saw him doing that spin the other way and then going for the right side version there on the final shark fin feature. Look at this, just flipping a little awkwardly, comes up maybe a hair short on the landing and has to put his hip down. All right, here is ABM, Alex Boller marchand the Quebecois. Silver medal last year, he's in seventh right now. And with the clock down to 10 seconds, you gotta think this is his last chance. Definitely, this is gonna be his last opportunity to leave the judges with a good impression, showcase the breadth of his skills. Smooth switch, right side 900 there on jump number one. Big double bio on jump number two. Here's the triple cork again for ABM on jump number three. Right side, double seven, so another massive run there for ABM. Let's take a look at this final jump, the shark fin taking off from far, far back, traveling massive down the pipe, gets the grab, absolutely stomps the landing, has that triple cork in there, some rail variety, great run. And there's Colby Stevenson checking in. But sitting in that top spot, wondering, is he going to stay on there? And, you know, unofficially speaking, though, with Alex Hall, the last guy to drop your defense gold medalist, Colby Stevenson going to walk away with a medal here for his first X Games uh, appearance. Definitely. And Alex Hall knows how to win. He has the chance here to do a 
really good run and definitely step up onto the podium, if not overtake Colby. Switch 1260 there after a very creative rail section. Oh, there's the Buick Ooh. grab stopping that landing. Switch right side, getting the off mute. No! A little bit of a hand touch going alley oop, double cork still, but with that minor bobble on jump three in his position in sixth right now, the overall impression where will the judges seat him? Colby Stevenson currently sitting in first, Evan McEachern in second, Fabian Bosch in third. And again, no rookie has ever in 19 events contested come out and dominated the field and won gold. Oh, wow. All right, we will await the standings. But Colby, what a performance he has been having out here on this Jeep Slope style course, Tom. I'm not going to lie. This was an absolutely dominant performance. He looked above and beyond better than everybody else today. He did four unique runs, count them every single time down the course, with barely as much as a bobble. Here's the massive double at the end, reaching for the second grab so high in the sky and just stomping it clean. Well, no rookie has won slope style gold in the history of this event. Waiting for the official results. Do we make history here? We do. Colby Stevenson, your gold medalist out here for the Jeep Men's Ski Slope Style Final. X Games Aspen 2020. <laughs> X Games, second gold medal. Wow.